Oh. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marissa and I normally do videos on fitness and mental health and today it's going to be more on the mental health aspect and dealing with angry people or dealing with anger within yourself. This actually isn't a topic that I ever thought I would talk about in my lifetime to be honest, but I came across this book and it just literally took me by surprise because anger is one of the emotions I can't stand the most. I just, I really cannot stand anger. I feel like that's the one emotion if I could get rid of one, it would be that because anger leads to a lot of things and it leads to a lot of misfortune. It leads to a lot of heartbreak. It just all around leads to not good places. So I just genuinely wanted to understand ang anger and figure it out and learn how to deal with angry people because you can't escape angry people either. They're all over the place and situations where anger is involved. And I just had this crazy feeling that I want to learn about anger. I feel like my lips are so chapped. I'm at the ranch today, guys. I just decided to take a little car break. So today is the 28th of Mon or February, so that means this month's book is done, and I actually read three books this month. First one, Rich Dad Poor... or no. First one, Messages in Water. Second one, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Third one, this one. Today's the last day. I have about 70 pages left, and that's really easy for me. So, looks like three books this month it is. But this book honestly changes your life and it's not for people that have anger issues. It's just for people that want to understand anger. But mainly, anger is fear-based. Every single time you're angry, normally there is fear attached to it and you just have to sit back, understand what is maybe scary in this scenario, and see if this scaredness is valid or if it's just phantom fears going on in your brain and then normally oh my god it's so hot and then normally um I need to take this off this book literally completely took me by surprise I honestly didn't think I was really gonna bond with the book or I didn't really think I was gonna find that many tools but now that it is the end of the month this definitely by far is the my most favorite book that I have read this month I highly recommend for anyone even if like you literally never get in arguments it's just good to have it in your toolbox because you never know when you're gonna kind of gonna come across someone that's angry I feel like it's better to understand the situation of an angry person rather than get involved with it personally and take the attacks personally so First, this book will kind of go into understanding why people are angry. And it really puts into perspective like how many different type of angers there are. There's passive aggressive, there's quietness, there's the full out yelling, there's the manipulation aspect. There's so much that goes on into anger. And I had to self-reflect and be like, oh wow. Like, I didn't think I had anger issues, but I am very passive-aggressive. I am very quiet about the situation and will just leave it alone. And that is a form of anger because it's still hurting me on the inside. So, basically, you just understand that a lot of people hold on to anger and resentment because it's something that they are not facing within themselves or what you're not facing in with yourself. So, I had to do a lot of homework when it came to reading this book and understand that a lot of what I thought was the correct way in this lifetime was not. And even though I thought I was valid as to why I was angry, nine out of ten times I wasn't valid whatsoever. So that's really beneficial. The first part is super, super, super beneficial. And then the second part goes into how to live a guilt-free, shame-free life because a lot of people continue to stay angry because they feel a lot of shame, they feel a lot of guilt, they feel a lot of hurt, they feel just a lot of emotions that they hold on to, emotional baggage. So this book walks you through how you have to get rid of your emotional baggage and honestly, the second part of the book, that's what I read mainly yesterday, I couldn't stop flipping through the pages and it honestly made me bawl my eyes out. like. There was a part of it that I just, I couldn't believe it was in this book. I couldn't believe how beautiful this book is. But I don't know if you guys are familiar with the AA program, Alcohol, Alcoholics Anonymous, or any of those kind of programs. They have steps, and one of their steps, they have to face everyone and apologize to them. I forgot what the step is called, 
but I've always been fascinated with that and I didn't know why I thought that was like the it's definitely one of the hardest steps you have to take so a lot of people do talk about it but um I just always was fascinated as to why that was such a significant step and you really find out why and that's because with science when you forgive and apologize to someone it like lifts you up you feel lighter you feel happier it relieves you from guilt and anger so it really emphasizes that if you have things going on and like ignoring situations it just makes you more and more and more on edge and there's an interesting part about this book where it says if you are on a spiritual journey are you being are you actually being spiritual if you aren't facing the people that either disappoint you or you disappointed? And I really had to step back and be like, wow, that, you know, that does resonate with so much that's going on in my life. And I had to sit back and think about how many people I have disappointed, how many people I have hurt. And I haven't said one word about it. And I just kind of go on with my life. And it does haunt me. Like there are so many days I will think about what I've done and like how much I just wish I could face that person and apologize. And I'm just too guilt, I just have so much shame that like it's scary and I really had to meditate after and sit and think about like what I want to do and part of this healing journey I came to a conclusion that I really do have to go out to eat or go to a special place with all these people that I've hurt and read them out a letter from the bottom of my heart and just say I'm sorry. If they forgive me, they forgive me. If not, if not. And I'm really going to do that. There's quite a few people that I really have to do that, including mainly my family. There's a lot of my family members that I have shut out of my life that I will not give a second chance to. And it's because I haven't forgiven them and I haven't said what I need to say. And I'm not done with this book, but there's a chapter right now that says how to... Um, the next chapter is speak now or forever be in pieces and it just basically it just basically means like yeah speak now or forever be in pieces like if you don't say what hurt you or what's on your mind like you're just gonna forever be torn up into pieces and I didn't expect this book you guys I didn't expect this message but I'm so grateful for this message I'm so grateful for the tools this book gave me and back to how I can help you guys with anger I just want to give you a recap of where all this information is coming from so when you're feeling angry you just really have to breathe and like go get yourself out of the situation first and foremost go do something else do something that makes you happy it's so hot in here you guys I can't do this so, where was I going with this? Okay, so basically when you start to feel angry about a situation and you're just getting heated, it's not necessarily that you're angered, it's that something that some, whoever did something to make you angry triggered something inside of you. And this trigger could go all the way down to your childhood. It's just something that you're not dealing with that reminded you of so many things that at one point or another made you scared. And you've turned that emotion into anger. And a lot of people, when they are super angry, Django, I am making a video. Why do you do this every time? So sorry, my dog does this. Majority of the time when people are super angry and they're just always walking around and you kind of have to walk on eggshells around them, chances are they're the most scared, hurt person in the universe and they're just walking around with thorns in them already. And then they just, you accidentally say the littlest thing, it's like you, you hit their thorn. So they just lash out because they're just so tired of being hurt and misunderstood. So this book will also help you so much with dealing with angry people. But, basically, but first and foremost, it makes you look inside the mirror of yourself. So you just really, so the, okay. So then fear is triggered and your ego, what is supposed to protect you and get you through this thing called life is like, ooh, ow, that hurt. Like now we have to reflect back and lash out and make sure that we never get hurt again. So your ego takes a note of that and then before you know it, you're just an angry person because your ego is trying to protect yourself from the world when in actuality it is just hurting you. So be careful with the whole, you know, ego thing. <laughs> So you normally have to deflate your ego and put your ego in check 
and that's another reason as why as to why I did five meo DMT is because it is known as an ego death. You literally let go of all those things and all those patterns that you have made for yourself. Did was it a complete ego death? I wouldn't say so. I would say that there's still a few things where your ego is a little involved, but then you're aware of them and then you change them. That's why I'm obviously reading these kinds of books. And then how to deal with an angry person. And this is the hardest. And I mean hardest. So I have been around angry people for quite some time. I grew up with angry people. As an adult, I've allowed angry people to come into my life and kind of walk all over me because I'm used to it. So I basically more so bought this book so that I wouldn't put myself in situations like that. And if I ever did find myself in situations like that, I would know what to do to get myself out and not get hurt in the situation. So how to deal with angry people? First of all, like I said, when someone is anger, angry, it's obviously stemming more, for, more so from a place of hurt and pain and fear. So you have to really step back and if the person starts getting angry with you, be like, okay, whoa, hold on, what's going on? Like I obviously hit a trigger and don't talk to them like you are telling them what to do. You have to give them somewhat of power because they already feel scared and when people are scared they need some sort of reassurance or they need to grab on, like let's say you're ice skating and you're scared, you grab onto the wall, they need a crutch, they need something to grab onto and that normally is power and feeling like they are in control of the situation. So if you want to help those people and you are a zen kind of person with your ego in check, you're willing to bow down and give them that so that they feel better and that the situation gets better. So first and foremost, they obviously have a completely different perspective than you and no matter what you do, you like this chapter I just read, no matter how perfectly you say a sentence to them of your point of view, if their mind is made up, their mind is made up and they almost need to seem like they're convincing you that they were right, which, you know, if your ego is in check, you don't care if you're right or wrong. You just want the relationship, friendship, anything to grow rather than to just be completely destroyed. So you automatically when you're dealing with angry people you have to make sure that you are the one that can direct this situation into a better place because they will definitely not they will continue to take it down that road until i mean everything's done and over so you just really have to make sure that you are prepared for that and if you're not then you have to set your boundaries and be like i can't handle the situation i need to go take myself elsewhere and figure out myself and then maybe we can revisit this conversation but if you're willing to work through it, these are the next steps. So automatically try to see their perspective, give them their control back, and also say you can only really say yes or no because the moment you defend yourself, you lost. You can't defend yourself because it's just, it's not going to make any difference. Their, their mind is made and you either can sit until you're blue in your face trying to convince them that you are right or you can just put down the weapon and be like, okay, we're gonna agree to disagree. So then you need to be prepared to take your ego out of this because basically when they are yelling, screaming, being passive aggressive, being manipulative, whatever they're being, chances are they're dealing with something inside of themselves that goes a lot deeper to the core than you have any idea what is going on. So you just really need to take your ego out and like make sure that your ego is not going to get hurt, scared because then your ego is going to try to defend itself and make sure that that person's hurt and scared and then just becomes this ping pong of who can hurt each other more. So make sure that you're taking your ego out and what I like to do is I like to close my eyes, take a deep breath and say, hey ego, in my mind I say this, hey ego, right now we're not going to get involved in the situation because this has nothing to do with us. This is their battle that they have with themselves and I'm just going to be the best kind of friend I can be in this very moment and allow them to go through this motion and hopefully they see the light at the end of this. And then I let it go and then you just really have to nurture and care for this person more than you can imagine. 
they don't need someone to battle them or to be wrong or right. They need someone to see their wounds and put Neosporin on it rather than vinegar, if you know what I mean. So just really take your ego involved and give nothing but love. When you send them nothing but loving energy, you know, there's no fault in that. They can feel it. They can understand it. And this is, I'm not saying I can even do this perfectly. This is just something that I am trying to teach myself and things I'm trying to practice and it seems to really be helping. And it just, I feel like understanding anger and being able to navigate around anger will really truly help your life, especially on your mental health journey because angry people are everywhere. You never know when someone's gonna have a bad day and you just have to understand it has nothing to do with you. It's always a battle within themselves that you are making yourself a part of. Hurt people hurt people. I know I've said that a thousand times. So yeah, that is my little rant. My little rant of the day of how to control anger and just really be in control of it rather than allowing it to control you because anger can truly take over your day. Anger could truly take over situations and before you know it, you're in this huge mess and you just realize if you just put the, eager, the anger down and realize it was fear and your ego was scared that you were going to get hurt, you can understand that like you... Another person are not out to get each other. You guys just are not willing to be hurt by one another. And if you guys just are able to be like, yeah, you know what, like let's not hurt each other right now, there's progress to be made there. And this this goes with anything. Like I lose my temper on lots of people, and I used to in the past. I used to be a very angry person at one point of my life, and I hated it. It doesn't feel good. It feels terrible. You just Nothing about anger has ever felt nice. And that's why I picked up this book, obviously, because I just, I can't stand the feeling of anger. I can't handle that emotion in this universe. I feel like if we all let go of anger, there'd be so much more peace here. And anger really is just fear. Anger is just fear. It's just all fear. I truly hope you guys take something from this. I truly hope that, you know, this resonates with some people that might be struggling with the same thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of anger, how maybe you've dealt with your anger issues or someone else's in your life anger issues. Like I said, this page is all about communicating and having a community and having all different perspectives. That's the best part about putting your videos on YouTube is you're able to show your perspective and then hear other people's perspectives and then mesh them together. And that's what I want this channel to be. I don't ever want this channel to be like, I'm right, you're wrong, follow my way to life. Like, no, I can learn so much more from you too. So never be afraid to tell me I'm wrong from your perspective, but just please share your perspective with me. That's all I ask. <laughs> so I hope you guys, again, enjoy this video. I will see you all very soon. And again, the book that I am reading is Never Get Angry Again. Life-saving. Go get it, please. Please. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video.